<coughs> Dear Madam Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests, today I'm very grateful for the opportunity to present my first project, my icebreaker speech. Once my grandmother told me, your greatest regrets in life won't be the mistakes you made. There will be the opportunities you let slip through your fingers by failing to act. This words have become a garden principle for me. And today, I would like to tell you two different stories from my life that illustrate these two words. I was born in a small town that located on the bank of the Volga River. My favorite subject when I was a schoolgirl was a chemistry. I couldn't stomach the thought of spending a day without solving a chemical puzzle. I imagined myself as a great inventor who spent her time in a laboratory and wore white coat and goggles obtaining new substances. I was lyrical about my future career. So, I set the goal, the ambitious goal, to study chemistry at the Oil and Gas University. Those who knew me thought I'd gone insane but they couldn't see into my heart. I believed that it was the only right way to do the work I loved and develop my talents. So, to cut a nail-biting story short, I did manage to pass my exams with flying colors. And, you guess it, entered the university. So, the other story is about yoga, which plays an important role in my life. Yoga is a generic term for a physical, mental, and spiritual discipline originating from ancient India. But you are not sitting here to listen to some dictionary definition about some hippie sport. You are more interested in hearing about me. So, when my grandmother died, I was distressed emotionally. So, a friend of mine recommended that I attend some yoga classes. Have you ever fallen in love at first sight? It happened to me, even as I started my first session. No, even as I walked into the room. The smell of sandalwood, the light from candles, and the ancient orchestral melodies that provide mellow and tranquil feeling. And in addition, the friendly atmosphere get me hooked on yoga straight away. As time went by, I realized that yoga had become a way of reaching the balance between body and mood and feeling in harmony with nature. So, I have found a job that inspires me and um, reach a connection with my inner world. And today, I stand there, at this stage, as a Toastmaster Club, delivering my first, hopefully, ice-breaking speech. Not only to improve <coughs> my and indulge my passion for oratory and de develop my leadership skills, but first and foremost, make new friends. In introducing myself, I spoke about my experiences with yoga and the university. But the specific interests are immaterial. More important is to learn how to listen to your heart and do what it is challenged you to do. Even tonight, try to think clearly about your medium, especially if that medium is public speaking after all, that is what has brought us all here today. And as this is a Toastmaster Club, can I propose a toast to following your heart? <laughs>